what is up guys it's Corbin here and welcome back to the channel you saw the thumbnail you saw the title you know what this is and you know what caused this if you haven't watched yesterday's someone session please go watch because this is how I channel my pain <laughs> this is how I channel my pain I get him I make a guide I'm going to make sure that I have this man Lucas Apollo in every team that I build from now on well I'm going to be se sectioning this this um, video into three parts I'm going to be doing a build at the beginning I'm going to discuss his skills the build that I have for him and then um, others that I recommend and then I'm going to move on to PVE showcase basically putting him through the runs in pve showing you guys runs of stuff that he can do and then i'll be moving on to pvp maybe a game or one um i don't want to make this long he's not really good at pve well he is good but they're not great but let's get into the review guys like i said i'll be sectioning it into three let's go and this is the bill section well to know to know what to do when building a unit you have to know what the unit does itself so what does apollo do with this s1 he attacks three times and then steals 15 percent ap stealing is more op than pushing back with 15 because you're not only pushing back with 15 you're also taking the 15 so it's pushing and gaining that's what steals mean and he attacks three times if all three if all three attacks hit and are not resisted he gains 45 and pushes you back by 45 which is very back breaking this is the most op s1 in the game standalone s1 clara has the best s1 coupled with her passive the passive is actually the most op one number two deals damage 75 percent it's a high multiplier uh, again um another good thing about him is that he has high multipliers look at this he's going to attack three times with 115 a hundred and fifteen three times is three hundred and forty five percent attack this is a controller mind you his scaling is amazing <clears throat> uh skill number two has um eighty percent damage at full skill ups and a eighty five percent chance to stun each stun grants an extra fifteen percent a p now i don't know why they use the word extra because this skill doesn't give AP. Maybe it used to give AP and then they nerfed it before they launched them. But he's been launched for so long. I don't know why they use the words extra. You just gain 15% AP. If you stun 5 people, it's 15 times 5. 75. If you stun 3 people, it's 45. Pretty good. The AP master. To cement his AP master status, he attacks 3 times with 100%. Guys, this is an AoE that's going to be dealing 300% of damage on a controller. 300% cleave damage. That is insane. With a 50% chance of each strike dispelling one buff from the target and reducing AP by 10%. So this happens at the same time. So if someone has immunity, um, the first attack will push back. It will strip. If it doesn't strip, then... The second one will try to strip so forth so forth um this one is actually hidden in a lot of cooldowns i would like to get all these cooldowns given putting him at a four turn cooldown would make him good for a pve team that i'm going to show you i am putting a billy mons in him i think it's very worth it this one has one cooldown three three turn cooldown pretty amazing has an accuracy lead <sighs> No one ever needs accuracy to this point. Like, accuracy is so easy to get. It's so easy. Now, looking at his ascensions, it starts with attack and then HP. And then this is where he gets, he gains the extra, the extra 15% AP, gains some attack, crit rate, and the 10 speed. The 10 speed, not a lot of 5 stars get this 10 speed. If you look at his base stats, he has 105 and he gains the 10 speed. So there are only two units that are faster than him in this game. And that is Unus and Gabriel. Unus and Gabriel have a base speed of 106. And then in their awakenings, they gain the 10 speed. 
so Gabriel 106 as you can see there ascension she gains the 10 speed now the fastest base speed unit is actually tricky but he's only just 107 he does not gain the 10 speed Clara is also 106 same as Unas Gabriel Unas and Gabriel and Clara have the same speed at 106 but the problem with Clara is that she gains HP as opposed to that speed which makes Lucas behind Unas and Clara and above Tricky no behind Unas and Gabriel and above Tricky and Clara so as you can see the speed demon a controller controller supposed to be fast it makes sense which means this build here the one that I build them I'd like to discuss a second I think the best build for beginners is the one that I have on Barney which is you focus primarily on speed and accuracy because he moves first and he also has a way to remove buffs you would like to move him before all of your other debuffers because he will remove buffs and then he will cycle back to come back and stun them with the S3 so the build that you see on Bonnie here with 100% accuracy and high speed plus 146 uh, Bonnie has will have um, with this gear Bonnie will have yeah, that speed um, <clears throat> and it will be more on Lucas Lucas will have a lot more speed than this one I think it will be plus 150 on Lucas then he has 255 speed I think that is the sweet spot and then you have some defenses in the terms of HP and stuff like that so that's another build you can go for so obviously wind walker is pretty good for him and you can also wind walker is pretty good for going first um you can also have him on uh oceans ocean wave i like ocean wave sets because uh with ocean wave he just resets all these cooldowns they aren't that long this is three turn this is four turn it's standard cooldowns but imagine with oceans they just move on again um this skill attacks three times this one attacks three times which means he will be amazing phenomenal on a zeus set Paranio of zeus has a 20 percent each attack so since multi heaters have the best are the best targets for for using tyranny of zeus it's that set that stuns he would be amazing on tyranny of zeus as long as you can get this the speed i have him on a dps set remember all those multipliers i was telling about i decided to take advantage of them and that's only because i got the extra copies of him and then i got to put the resonance into attack to give him a bit more attack with the resonance he's 1184 <clears throat> the standard dps will have 1200 attack i think yeah 1224 1254 go to a leling 1204 go to a hide 1242 so he normally has not 1200 but a 1013 which is pretty low but with the resonance into his attack i was able to push him into being a standard dps doesn't scale well with the gear but it's still some attack there which is pretty nice i still have a lot of accuracy on him uh, the crit damage is good, crit rate phenomenal, speed is okay, I would have liked it to be like plus 120, um, so let's look at the gear actually, um, <clears throat> I'll try to rate his gear, um, this one, very bad piece, I like that it rolled twice into crit rate, gives me all the crit rate that I need, but the defense bonus, not using it, resistance, ill, HP might be good but we're not using it. We are primarily looking for crit rate, accuracy, speed, attack, crit damage, substance. That's what we're looking for. Accuracy, speed, crit rate. Ah, oh, this is amazing. But the flat defense makes it fall short. But this is an amazing piece. I don't think I'll find the replacement anytime soon. This one, crit rate, crit damage, HP, accuracy with a lot into accuracy. Actually, this one will be very hard to replace because... The HP is not completely thrown away. You don't want your units to be so soft that when they're touched once, they just die. 
so the hp is nice crit rate crit damage pretty nice and then the accuracy there makes me look for accuracy less in other piece so that triple roll into accuracy is actually fantastic let me let me lock that this one attack main stack crit rate crit damage accuracy again the resist is useless if that was speed this piece would be amazing if the resistance was speed this piece would be amazing this one crit rate speed accuracy the flat defense again it's just like this one yeah ah the flat defense is haunting me speed main stat flat attack flat defense crit rate hp that flat defense if it was speed or crit damage that would work fine um but that was my build remember you can build them very fast go first or go after an unus remove everything push back um the bonnie build that i showed you you can use speed speed set for most of that speed set and apollo set or you can go ocean waves or you can go tyranny of zeus so now let's go to the pve showcase okay welcome to the pve showcase if you saw my temporal tower video from before i was able to make sure that the the Fobita does not move using apollo and era now that can no longer happen i'm assuming lilith saw my video and was like no way no way that can happen so they they fixed it very quickly and um actually this because they got rid of most ap stuff um this has become impossible like not impossible only three people cleared it shout out to op constell shout out to op constell i think i'm number 11 yeah i'm number 11 i'm stuck at 49 i can't beat 50 well i will eventually before the month and i just need to try a bit more teams but now i'm tired i need to go touch some grass that's why i'm recording this video but throughout this whole climb i used the jacob team an apollo team not a jacob team what am i talking about i use this team this team is a menace sienna moves first pushes back attacks buff and speed buff speed buff is amazing with this team she moves again she does this puts the ability on cooldown and then he puts the ability on cooldown while stunning them let me switch like that speed lead and I have I have another stunner. I mean, freeze is just stun in another element. So since both Jacob and Prisca are the same element, you don't want flow to be. Is it flow? Yeah, you don't, yeah, yeah. Here's the elemental circle here. You don't want flow because it's better than Inferno. You don't want to be missing flow units. So while Inferno stuns these blue ones, these blue units, and Inferno as well they'll be missing these flow units the flow units are being kept in check by long mien and her because she has a stun on her s2 as well so um yeah this team pretty amazing the only damage dealer here is apollo pushes back and also deals a lot of damage so as you can see guys i'm number 11 so the team works i'm number 11 in the whole server in terms of clearing speed so the team works and it's completely auto hands off and yep getting into the ritual miracle fafnir i guess you can use him in fafnir because he is a multi-hitter he multi-hits on his s1 multi-hits on his s3 which means that you can pop that bubble much quicker and then fafnir was recently nerfed so that's a good thing but he shines in chronos i have a three main team i also have a two main team I'll play a clip of the two-man team after this. So let me do the three-man team and then the two-man team as well. Yeah, I'll just do both of them. The three-man team is much faster. The two-man team is like 1 minute 18 seconds. And then the three-man team is like 50 seconds or so. So it's it's much faster it's because Lin Xiao is there to add on the damage. Uh as well as the defense break so it becomes just much faster we deal too much damage to the chronos and it doesn't move sometimes this is a hundred percent clear rate guys i have zero fear with this team i use it to farm as well i use the two-man team but i don't think the two-man team is ready ah oh, no defense break 
this might be harder <laughs> with no defense break it might be harder maybe maybe not uh, defense break coming in very late this thing could have been done a long time ago ah oh, stupid defense break by the way but yeah there we go if the defense break had landed first then yeah i was thinking of using the twin the twin has a reliable defense break so i can use the twin and um yeah how long was that one minute three seconds yes because the defense break didn't land so um yeah let me play you a clip of the two-man team in between here with the power of editing it will get in here Two men chronos team in close to one minute. Let's see it. I mean, since I got Lucas, why the hell not? Why wouldn't I? You know? So here we are. Uh abusing Lucas. And since he abused me. Oh man, as soon as I get a cooldown on this skill, this should be a much faster run much faster now it is pretty slow hands up in the air. maybe I just have to put more damage on Lucas who knows who knows Yo, if the tablets could be stunned, this thing would be over. This thing would be over very quickly. <laughs> but here we are. There we go. Two man team. About one minute to one minute twenty. It is. 100% 100% clear rate and um yeah if you're one of those guys pick this up it works now for more pve content i'll go to the cube miracle remember the team that i showed you for the the team that i just showed you for what is it Temporal, yeah. I actually just use it here as well, like auto. Uh, let me remove her because she has no gear. Who has gear? Junior Yao. Yeah, I put in Junior Yao. So I use the same team. <clears throat> I put it on auto. We'll be missing an attack buff, so this might be a slow one. This might be a slow one. Really, that's one. But yeah, I just put it on auto and ooh, wait, are we just dead, boys? I think she's surely dead. Okay, so the boogaloo starts. Yeah, the party started late, <laughs> but it starts nonetheless. Wait, hey, wait, wait, wait. The targeting sucks. Hello, stun this, bruh. Stun, our ah, key stuns there. You love to see it. You love to see it. More stuns. Jesus, man. Don't, don't give me a headache. Ah, uh, yeah. And I choose the, the artifact where when one attacks with with a basic attack, they have a chance of bringing everyone else 30% chance, which works well with Apollo. This thing's trying to embarrass me. The targeting is off. Yeah. <clears throat> I, oh, I mean, there was no need to use that. <laughs> but here we are using it anyway. Genius, yeah, guys, an amazing, an amazing hero, by the way. If you guys haven't checked them out, check her out. Check her out. Maybe I might do a, a video on her. I also use. I have too. I have too many units, guys. I wanted to use I wanted to say I use it all the time, but <laughs> lies, 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 lies. 
The only unit that I use all the time is hide. Cooldowns down. Dude, is this infinite resistance? <sighs> yeah, it will. it's infinite resistant asness. See, just resisting everything. Like the cube miracle level eight has like these units that resist just everything. So um yeah, I I just kill them first because normally they are healers as well. So kind of annoying. But yeah, I think I can auto from this point on. I don't know. They might start just targeting just the wrong units. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, but yeah, normally I just put on auto, put on the side. I check if I'm losing anyone. Go out, come back in, because level eight is very dubious. Things happen. Dude, do I have enough juice to kill? I mean, without James Charles Deep giving me a tag buff, I don't think I have enough juice to kill. Well, he'll never move, that's one thing. But, death by a thousand needles. <laughs> this is it, it's death by a thousand needles. Die. <laughs> thousand cuts, there we go. And that's the cube, yeah. I picked that artifact and then I upgraded to whenever they use a skill, they can use an S1 because Lucas's S1 is just so OP. This one, yeah. And there's another one that grants an extra turn. I don't have it. I'll pick the petrification one. I'll pick the petrification one, it's pretty cool. So all the freezes and the stuns will be petrification. They won't gain any cooldowns as well. Wait, I can't pick it. Stupid, I went the wrong way. Ah, that's dumb. Anyway, that is the cube miracle. Sonic miracle, I mean, I can two men it probably. Yeah. I can probably do a two men and no one moves. Hopefully, it's not as, it's not slow. It's fast enough. <laughs> Should be. Especially if he keeps stunning. Yeah, he's so good in a two men with, um, with Sander because. What happens is that during the waves, he he stuns, so that stun helps Sender and him to survive. It's like we have a support, but we actually don't. <laughs> kind of toxic, but um yeah. Once we get to the boss, him and Sender just pin the boss. Can't move. I can do this for all ritual miracles. If I want it to be slightly faster, I put in Lin Xiao, make it a three-man team brings the defense break and the damage and she has some AP control as well but the king of AP control is it's Lucas look at that no one's moving I wonder if he can one man this probably he probably can one man it but it would take him a lot to one man it maybe if I fully scale him up I'll be able to one man it Hey, wave collector, leave. I can do it here as well. I can't do it here because it's opposite element and they would miss a lot. I can do it here as well. I mean, let's, just, let's just do it. Yeah, see, it's already set up. The fodder is fed. So, um, yeah. What's going on in OP chat? Best tricky build I can see. Best guys, I'm I'm sharing OP secrets here. Oh, that's a nice tricky. That's a nice tricky. Hepcock. Late. Yo. Oh my God. Yeah. Nah. See, guys. This is this is how whale gear looks like. <laughs> this is how during. Okay. Okay. Let me. I mean, I'm not sure if people you guys want to see this, but you know it's possible. Well, not if it keeps resisting. Dude, does it have a billion resistance? Hello, go back. Thank you. Damn, who pulled Oli? Why always me? Why always you, my friend? Why are you the one pulling units every time? But yeah, guys, Lucas is amazing. I mean, I was crying when I got him. 
multiple times it's because he's a free unit you know everyone can get him so you you hate to see it but i remember back when dona was the free one people pulled dodas and you cry you cry every time like you yeah you can you just can't take it leave i'm out of energy surprise surprise uh that's sonic miracle okay guys the energy is a signal to move on to the pve showcase okay now for a pv for a pvp showcase he you can run him in a control team but control teams are not that popular now control teams used to be good against tank teams but tank teams have evolved to having hide in them they've evolved to having you see there's a hide there or they have a genial yao or a hide so they've realized that people use control against tank teams and it's efficient sometimes but it just doesn't work sometimes because hide will screw you you can't kill hide with a control team jinyu yao is meant exists to counter control teams so with those very oppressive heroes the only way you can run him basically efficiently now is in a cleave team you have your captain ability here um i haven't been a weird build but remember that bonnie build he would be nice here actually him and bonnie are interchangeable this guy is trying to do the same thing that i'm doing down here you have your captain ability he has it you have your stripper for any immunity he has bonnie you have your pusher and attack buffer i do have a pusher and attack buffer you have your defense breaker i have a defense breaker raven is best here has the cleaver is drew mine is that so now it becomes a speed contest battle of the speed so let me see if i'm a scrub i'm not a scrub thank god thank god push back he pushes back strips defense break and cleave see that's normally how it goes um yeah so the best way you can run him is in a cleave he pushes back tia pushes back he strips pushes back make sure that they don't have any immunity tia pushes back and then that happens really there isn't much i can say in point o as i mentioned before the team where he shines in a control team doesn't work well against hide and tank teams and that's the meta up here but you can still use them to cleave teams that are less tanky and other cleave teams if you outspeed it's always a speed battle in that case for hollow battle it's 3v3 controllers are normally not great in a 3v3 but i can see a team where it's him ta and bonnie no him priska and bonnie and the point of that team would be to stun them push them back and put everyone on um, put their cooldowns down but that is very gear intensive everyone there has to be fast so um yeah i, I don't see control teams working in holo battle but we'll see we'll see when holo battle comes but either way you guys saw he's a pve monster temporal tower they nerfed him he used to be able to make the forbiter not move but i still use him from temporal tower 1 to 9 and i'm ranked 11 against wales i was able to use him auto team it's an auto team um you can run him as a pure D controller or you can run him with a bit of dps he becomes your, your main dps in your control team because he has such high multipliers especially after you get extra copies of him you can put the resonance into attack he he has a two-man team for chronos you can run him in fafnir you can run a two-man team in um sonic miracles they don't even move you can put your father in during events so you're always farming xp but there it has been lucas guys there's a lot i can say about him the whole day but we have to cut it somewhere if there's more developments more game modes as they come in find ways where we can put lucas find better team comps then i might revisit this but i've already said enough about him so without wasting any more of your time it has been Kovian. this is a lucas guide thank you for watching guys cheers